Hello, Al Pals. This is Big Al. Welcome to Big Al Presents, my review of Disney's 2021 film, Jungle Cruise. In 1916, Dr. Lily Houghton and her brother McGregor hire riverboat captain Frank Wolf to cruise the Amazon in search of the mythic Tree of Life, known for its healing petals and tears of the moon. To find the tree, they must overcome a deranged prince, cannibals, and cursed conquistadors. Disney's latest film, based on one of its theme park rides, a la Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise is a fun, old-fashioned adventure film in the grand tradition of the Indiana Jones and Alan Quartermain films. Dwayne Johnson, as Captain Frank Wolf, is his usual charming self, and seems comfortable playing the confident, pun-loving skipper. It's understandable why he is such a universally beloved star. Emily Blunt plays Dr. Lily Houghton, the self-assured yet eccentric botanist searching for the Tree of Life. Blunt is eminently likable and very convincing as an action star. While it may be a slight disservice to describe her character as a female Indiana Jones, the comparison cannot be avoided. Together, Blunt and Johnson have great chemistry and play off each other very well. Jake Whitehall portrays McGregor Houghton, Lily's younger but less adventurous brother. Though initially playing for laughs, Whitehall turns McGregor into a well-rounded character. Jesse Plemons really seems to have fun as the villainous German prince Joachim, or Joachim, he makes a point about his name being pronounced wrong at the beginning of the film, and I'm really not sure how to pronounce it myself. He affects an over-the-top accent to rival Walter Koenig's Russian accent from Star Trek. Rounding out the cast is Veronica Falcon, Paul Giamatti, and Edgar Ramirez, and it is an excellent cast indeed. Even the CGI department developed a wonderful character in Proxima, Frank's pet jaguar. While Jungle Cruise is good escapist entertainment, viewers will find the earlier descriptor, old-fashioned, to be the film's principal weakness. The plot points and action sequences are nothing new, and quite frankly a rehash of Pirates of the Caribbean with conquistadors replacing pirates. The technical aspects of the film, the cinematography, sound, special effects, etc., are fine, but nothing noteworthy. James Newton Howard's music is serviceable, yet unremarkable, though the inclusion of Metallica's Nothing Else Matters was surprising. There is some social messaging in the film. McGregor reveals being rejected by family when coming out as gay, the misogyny of the men of the Royal Society Explorers, and the ride's character of Trader Joe being gender-swapped on screen. Thankfully, these are inconsequential relative to the enjoyment of the film. Ultimately, Jungle Cruise is an entertaining yet unremarkable adventure film bolstered by an amazing cast and very likable characters. If you're looking for a good popcorn movie, then Jungle Cruise should leave you satisfied. But you may find it's missing that special Disney magic. Well, folks, that's my official review of Jungle Cruise. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, a few bonus thoughts I want to give on the film uh, for those watching this. I know I was a little harsh with some of my criticism, maybe, about the technical aspects of the film and the, and the plot being kind of a redo. And they are valid. It does seem like they're just remaking Pirates of the Caribbean. Very similar plot points. A lot of the characters pretty much line up directly with characters from Pirates of the Caribbean. Similar concepts. The Conquistadors, of course, very much like the Pirates, uh, being undead and having special powers. Even though they're cursed, there are some advantages to being cursed uh, in the way they are. But ultimately, the film is like comfort food that you're eating while wearing your comfy slippers. It's going to make you feel good. 
It'll satisfy you. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. But ultimately, there's that little bit of, as I said, Disney magic that's missing. And ultimately, I, I just think it is, it's, that's what we've seen it before. Uh, I do like it. I wouldn't mind to see a Jungle Cruise Part 2. Uh, I do like the characters very much, so it'll be interesting to see them perhaps in another adventure. Maybe something a little more original. Uh, but we'll see. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this review and, you know, the little little extra bit I had at the end. I hope that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, Big Al Presents, that you do so. I'm going to be doing reviews and rewatches and some rambles now and then. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and I hope you share it. I'm wishing everyone a great time. Find something fun to watch. Just enjoy. Take care.